Good afternoon, everybody. Today is Memorial Day, May 29th, 2023. This is going to be the next update for the Supertunia window boxes. Uh, so the first thing off is, as you can see, the weather, put it this way. So today is Monday and we haven't had any sunlight since Thursday. There's just been three days of not a downpour, but just a soaking mist. Sometimes a lot of rain. Everything is absolutely saturated. The flowers, when you get close, you could see that they had just a little bit, not too much, a little bit of damage from the water. Um, it's a prime example right there. As you can see, the water has rested on the flower, causing some damage. It's pretty strange. I haven't, I don't remember the last time Memorial Day weekend was a total rain out, but we've had three straight days of it now. But it is what it is. Uh, you know, can't always get perfect weather. As you can see now, we just have a little bit of the box left right there. Other than that, everything is covered. It's growing all the way up the window as well, like a vine, which I don't, I don't, that definitely did not happen last year. You can see how there's a gap here because some of it has fallen forward. Some of it has grown upwards. Last year, I used to go in the window from behind and push it all forward. But this year I said, I'm just gonna let it do what it wants to do. And I might trim some of it back. I don't know. I don't know how much taller it'll get. So again, looking good. The black cherry started to fill in, which is nice. Even on this side, you can see the blue sky is really starting to come in. They just stay, they just stay a lot more clustered, don't they? Really like those. I mean, that is really nice. Now we'll uh, go up here. Railing planters. Uh, the one here on the left is doing better as far as its growth, but they still look healthy and nice. This one's just growing a little slower, but I'll show you one of the reasons why is if you come back here. You'll notice that compared to that side, there's a lot more hanging off this side. It's a lot. I might just cut you know from here and make a line instead of folding this all over i want to avoid as much mold as possible and i think the safest way to do that is to cut away from the back so i'll probably do that when the weather gets nicer over here not too bad this way but over here you can see it could use a trim already and this these are only been in here what five weeks April 15th is when we planted them, six weeks, give or take. They're all, they're way, growing way more aggressively than last year, that's, that's for sure. Here we have the garage planters for the garage windows. The bubble gum looking really nice over there. This side is the black cherry. As you can see, they don't grow as fast. They don't get as much sunlight. But if we come around down there, that's kind of an angle that you don't get to see from the street. So, starts to look better. Like how the blue skies, they're blending in. And again, this is the window box I told you about where for some reason, some of the bubble gums go white. I don't know why. First time I've ever seen that. We have some flags out for Memorial Day, but not like he may, if you saw last year's video, there was flags in all the boxes. I'll do that again for 4th of July, but today is a little too messy outside. But they're looking good, looking healthy. They just, you could tell they want more sunlight. I haven't had any direct sunlight in three days now. So no flower likes that. <laughs> but I did water them today. They still needed water. 
believe it or not. When it rains like this, all I do is I, sc I scale back on the watering, so I might not water every day. So today was the first time I've watered since mm, Friday, and they needed it. And as you can see over here, the system, the drip system is still looking good. Everything's looking all right. Um, it's all waterproof and everything, so you don't have to worry about if there's rain fertilizer injector you can actually see some dark colored water in the line that's some leftover fertilizer so it's a really really nice setup to have this you just hit a button and it comes on anyway so that'll wrap it up for this year's Memorial Day video thanks everyone for tuning in and hopefully next week we'll have some nice sunlight to show all right, see you next week.